Hello everybody, sorry I couldn't be there today, but I thought it'd be fun for us to learn about a really important composer for band music. So let's go in and learn about that. Hello everyone, so we're gonna learn a little bit today about a very important composer for band music, and that is John Philip Sousa. And so I'm gonna read you just a little bit of facts about him. I will give you the Quaver link for a more advanced book, which will give you more details about his life, but let's go ahead and get started. So John Philip Sousa, his nickname was the March King. He was born in Washington, D.C. in 1954. So there you can see uh, baby John Philip Sousa. <laughs> he went to a private music school and learned to play the piano and many other instruments of the orchestra. His favorite instrument was the violin. Now, something that's interesting about him playing the violin is that a violin is not found in band music. The reason why I'm saying that is because John Philip Sousa is very famous for writing band pieces of music. So it's a little ironic that he was not even able to play in the music that he was composing. So let's learn some more facts. John Philip Sousa directed the U.S. Marine Band for 12 years. When he left that job, he decided to create his own concert band. So there you can actually see his concert band. Here's another picture. So that's the Sousa Band. They perform more than 15,000 concerts all over the world. How cool is that? So we have some songs that are some of his music. So we're gonna listen to part of the Gladiator March. All right, let's listen to part of the Washington Post March. This is probably one of his more well-known marches. We're going to go to one called Semper Fidelis. We're actually going to watch a live performance of this one in a moment, so I'm not going to play too much of it, but just want to give you an idea. All right, we'll hear more of it later. And then probably one of his most Probably his most famous march of all time is Stars and Stripes Forever. This is um, played probably at every single 4th of July event I've ever been to in my entire life. <laughs> it's not the national anthem, but it's a pretty close second as far as most famous American songs. So I'm going to play part of this one for you. As a very famous piccolo solo, we are going to probably hear part of that. So here we go. <laughs> So where was John Philip Sousa born? Do you remember? It was one of the first things we looked at. Was he born in Washington, D.C.? Was he born in Las Vegas? Was he born in Nashville, Tennessee? Was he born in Jamaica? Yep, he was born in Washington, D.C. <laughs> what was John Philip Sousa's favorite instrument? Was it the piano? 
He played the piano, didn't he? How about the violin? What about the bongos? What about the clarinet? If you remember, it was actually the violin. Which one of these did John Philip Sousa conduct? Did he conduct traffic? Did he conduct an orchestra? Did he conduct a kindergarten class? Or did he conduct the U.S. Marine Corps Band? Yep, there he is right there in the Marine Corps Band. Which piece of music was not written by John Philip Sousa? We just listened to a few of them. Was it the Washington Post March? Was it Semper Fidelis? Was it the Memphis Blues? Or is it Stars and Stripes Forever? Yep, it was the Memphis Blues. He did not write that. Let's see how we did. Yay! We scored 100%. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to watch a performance by the Marine Band playing Semper Fidelis, one of John Philip Sousa's marches. Wasn't that a fantastic performance by the Marine Band? Wow, President's Own is probably one of the best concert bands in the United States, if not around the world. So they're pretty, pretty spectacular musicians. I really like their uniforms too, it was pretty cool. And I'm sure you saw your instrument in, in the video at some point. I know Semper Fidelis really features the trumpets a lot. It does also feature the clarinets and the flutes a lot. So I apologize if you're not one of those instruments, but I hope you enjoyed the music. I am going to be giving you the link to that performance as well, and I'm going to give you the link for the advanced Quaver book on John Philip Sousa, okay? So take care, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you on Tuesday.